What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mack. Return of the Mac. What's happening? What's happening? How y'all doing? I'd like to say thank you to every last one of y'all that clicked on the video. I need that. I felt that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Only way we grow is if y'all let them know. Y'all been doing a good job of that by liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. So thank y'all for doing that, man. Also, man, congratulations to Jake Paul on your fight last night, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to Nate Diaz, man. Y'all put on the performance. Nate Diaz showing that, look, man, I'm not here for this boxing. I'm here for fighting. I'm here for fighting. I'll bust a beer bottle over your forehead and keep playing them. Don't even look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? Nate Diaz had me listen to number Mexican music for about two hours straight last night after the fight. I was excited because he showed a true Aztec Mayan warrior up in that ring. He wasn't scared of nothing. He wasn't running for nothing. Even though O'Ball was popping him in. Boop, 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 knocking him all over the ring. But we ain't mad at you. Shout out to Nate Diaz. Shout out to Jake Paul for putting on a performance, man. But what y'all think about Jake Paul? Is he helping or hurting boxing? What y'all think? You know what I mean? Is this what he doing good for boxing? Or is this bad for boxing? First of all, well, first of all, before we get into the discussion, shout out to the Paul brothers. Yeah, shout out to Jake Paul. Shout out to Logan Paul. Yeah, they're in the exhibition matches and all this stuff, and people going to say what they want to say about them. But them brothers came from YouTube and put a lot of people on them how to make money on YouTube. Them brothers came from YouTube, said what they was going to do, said they had a dream to make it. One said he going to do his thing in boxing. The other one said he going to the M to uh, WWE. And guess what they did? Went to bo One went into boxing, one went to the WWE. Jake Paul making millions of dollars off boxing. Logan Paul making probably millions of dollars off that WWE. I'm not pocket watching them, so I don't know none of that to be a fact. But... Shout out to him, no, man. You can't hate on them brothers for that. If you look at it from that standpoint, you can't be mad at them for that. You know what I'm saying? So I did want to give him a shout out. And shout out to Nate Diaz for you to be a brother 37 years old, retired from the MMA, obviously past your prime, obviously out there eating chalupas and tacos and living your best life and all that shit like that. And when you heard it was this dude was talking shit and it was time to get in that ring, Whenever, however, wherever, like Maxwell, you was ready to do it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you for that, brother. You know what I mean? But what y'all think about Jake Paul? You know, on one hand, he is fighting MMA fighters. You know, on one hand, he, he is fighting a lot of them MMA fighters. When he was in there with Hassan Rockman Jr., when they was in there trying to get that money together, and Hassan Rockman Jr., shout out to him, salute you know, good fighter, good fighter. But he's not even top of the, the cruiserweight, the top of the heavyweight division. And bro went through all kind of training, soaking his body, everything to make that fight. He gave you every advantage, Jake Paul, every advantage. And you didn't want to fight him because you knew, hey, that dude got knockout power. That cat got hands of stones. It go down from his bloodline. Anybody know anything about Hassan Rockman Sr.? That's the former heavyweight champion of the world. And his son got the hands of stones just like him. You know what I'm saying? He may not be one of the top heavyweights, but he'll still knock your head off your shoulder. And I feel like Jake Paul felt like, nah, I need to make a career decision. Nah, I don't think I need to get in there with him. And he got up in there with uh, Tyson Fury, younger brother. He got up in there with Tyson Fury, younger brother. He took a close loss. But he got his respect, though, because the Tyson Fury brother, he nice with it. That's a real boxer. That's a cat been doing it since he was a kid. So for Jake to lose in a close fight, shit, he got my respect. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. He got my respect. But once again, you are fighting them MMA dudes. And you're not even fighting like cats who are known for knockout power. You're fighting Tyron Woodley, who's known for tackling you and punching you out. You fought another guy who known for submitting you. And then, you know, we, we, we just had Nate Diaz who, shit, Nate Diaz going to do what he got to do to win. Man. Look, if he got to bust a beer bottle, if he got to, you know what I'm saying, stab you, hit you with one of them, if he got to elbow you, fight you, bite you in your eyebrows, he going to do what he got to do to get it done. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, you fighting those kind of guys, but you ain't going at it with them cats that was known to, 
have a little something with that boxing and showing some technique. However, we can't hate on Jake Paul, bro. He nice with them things. He nice with them. And he ain't afraid once the bell rang. As you can tell, he didn't put a lot of them on him. A lot of them know what it looks like on top of that ceiling. That's all I'm saying. Everybody that got in the ring with Jake Paul, with the exception of uh, Tyson Fury, younger brother, all know what it was like to see what's on top of that ceiling. Shit, hell, Tyron Willie was put to sleep. That one hurt our soul, nigga. Nate Robinson, ooh, we still. Woo. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep real with you. Based off athleticism, tattoos, thug appeal, and culture, I did not see you beating Nate Robinson like that. I just, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you. In every other situation, the guy that looked like Nate Robinson, you would beat the fuck out of the guy that looks like Jake Paul. But the last five years, or at least in professional sports, I've been wrong. You know what I'm saying? I've been wrong. However, when somebody look like Terrence Crawford, can't beat that. Can't beat that, man. No, you can't beat that, nigga. Terrence Crawford about as tough as his hair. Can't beat that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Errol Spence was another cat. Came out there, had had the, you know, hip-hop appeal. Kind of looked like a thug pretty boy a little bit. Tatted up. And I was like, yeah, he ready. Ain't nobody, this kid about to do it. Or Terrence Crawford might have to win it in the decision. But I saw Bug come out there and I said, look how tough his hair is. Yeah, Spence ain't got a shot tonight. He ain't got a shot tonight. But it is what it is, man. Shout out to your fight, uh, Jake Paul. But like I said, on one side, people can say you're fighting MMA fighters. On the other side, Jake Paul is helping cats get a lot of checks in a lot of bags they wasn't getting. He helping a lot of cats get a lot of checks in a lot of bags they wasn't getting in the MMA side. I'm not dissing the UFC or none of that. Not dissing Dana White and them. I don't know how the business go. But a lot of them cats, they biggest payday came from the fight with Jake Paul. Now, his brother in the WWE, I'm not going to lie to you. I saw the fight scuffle between him and Nate Diaz before the fight. Maybe they don't like each other. Maybe they ain't really cool. But a part of me felt like it was staged just because they were trying to sell the fight. I think the cat was out the bag after the Tax and Fury fight. Once we, you know, people saw Jake Paul took a loss. A lot of folks really was like, all right, cool. We saw him take a loss. No more watching him to see who's going to really beat this kid and shut him up. You know what I'm saying? But after that, that little scuffle, it looked like it sold the fight a little bit. It looked like it helped boost up the numbers a little bit. I don't know. We'll find out when they do their numbers or whatever, 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 whatever. However, Nate Diaz and Jake Paul... Y'all put on an amazing performance, and we thankful for what we saw. Nate showed tremendous heart. He was in a guy that in the arena of boxing was just more skilled than you. That's just what it is. I think if y'all get in that octagon, it's going to be something totally different. I think if y'all fought in the parking lot, it's going to be something totally different. I think, I would say in a penitentiary, but I don't think Jake Paul... And they Diaz is dumb enough to do anything that's going to get him locked up like that. And I know some of y'all going to be like, bro, you don't think they Diaz is going to do something that'll get him locked up? Nah, bro, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody. I think him being that he, the money he made last night, it's going to be kind of hard to piss him off right now when he go to that bank. Say what you want. And he, he gave us heart. You know, my man got dropped a few times in the fight and still was standing up ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, letting him know, I'm, I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm going back and listening to some, some motherfucking Mexican rap music. You know what I'm saying? None of that shit that say nigga a lot, because I still kind of feel some kind of way when y'all say it. It's still a little like, what, why y'all saying it? I'm like, what did we do to y'all? You know what I'm saying? We the main ones pulling up to the Top Cool joint late at night at the club, because only thing open is y'all Waffle House and, and IHOP. And I don't eat no motherfucking high IHOP that ain't talking about it because I said like talking about it. You know, when money ain't right, I hop the place to go. But y'all ain't fucking with Waffle House, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes Waffle House be too dangerous in that motherfucker, especially the best Waffle Houses. The best Waffle Houses always be the ones that be kind of sketchy at certain times, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You can pull up to the Mexican street taco huts. You know y'all see more of us than you see of y'all. So stop trying to hate. Don't have no hatred with us, you know what I mean? 
We rolled with y'all. We was enjoying watching the fight between the white dude and the, and, the, and the Mexican dude that had nothing to do with us. We, for the first time, realized what it's like to be white people in public. When we can see other races of people act a motherfucking fool. And we can be like, ha, oh. <laughs> glad we not going to jail. Even though sometimes it'd be some shit where they out over there acting a motherfucking fool. And y'all still pull up and try to take us to jail. And that's some, anyway, back to the boxing. Back to the boxing, man. It's been a good year in boxing. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr., <laughs> Tank Davis doing his thing. You know, Ryan Garcia, put him put him in the coffin. You know what I'm saying? Put him in the coffin. We ain't mad at that. Um, shit, Nate Diaz, Jake Paul, I like it. Jake Paul, keep doing what you're doing. I know I was didn't give much of discussion on that, but I just want to end on it and let it be known. Jake Paul, keep doing what you're doing, bro, because you're helping people get bags that they wasn't getting. People say what they want about it. You're doing you. You got a vision. Everybody going to talk shit. That's what we do out here in the world. We talk shit, but keep doing what you're doing because it's, it's helping you out. It's helping your family out. It's helping your opponents and their families out. So I salute you doing what you're doing. And maybe some motherfuckers in the boxing game need to pay attention to what Jake Paul doing and learn how to sell a motherfucking fight and maybe to help y'all get some money back into y'all sport. So it's always good to learn, man. Use this internet. Like I said, y'all, if y'all liking what I'm talking about, go on, share the video, like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what I'm talking about, dislike it. Either way, YouTube ain't no hater like you. And whether you dislike it, they still gonna put the video out. So thank y'all for tuning in. Tony Mack, where it's always real, baby. But it's always love. Peace.